In the year 11 retreat that we've put together, the game of life is something which we think is a good idea for children to focus on what it is that they want from life, but also give them opportunities to think about what they might actually get from life. And so the game is one in which you have a number of stations around the room. You need a big room for this. You can also do it either as a small core group, like 30 students, or you could do it at the whole year level. So depending on the size of the group, depends on how big the space you need. Each station has something like a piece of paper which has writing on it. That writing could be things like qualifications, or it could be body image, or it could be qualities, or it could be possessions. You also need a place for a hospital, a place for, dare we say, it, a cemetery, and a place for a prison, hopefully nobody will get there, and a casino. If it's possible to have a staff member at, at the big sort of stations, you don't need one at the hospital, you don't need one at the cemetery, you don't really need one at the prison, but the others do need one. The person who runs the casino needs to be able to cheat at cards, which is not a good Catholic thing, but we'll, we'll sort of forget that for the moment. Right? Each student then has a, a sheet of paper in their retreat booklet that says wants and haves. They write all their wants on it, and then you say you've got one hour to gain what you want. And you tell them that they're playing a role. It's very important that it's a role that they're playing. So as they go round, and the game's in silence, they sit or they stand at each of the stations, and they look at what they've got. Right, so I would like NCA level three. So they see that they have to get NCA level one, NCA level two, before they can get three. And each one has a minute value. And they have to stand in front of that, or sit in front of that station, for that minute value. So if they want to change the colour of their hair, it's a minute value. If they want to gain love, peace, then minute values. If they want the latest phone, it's the minute value. If they go to prison, it's so many minutes in prison. If they break their leg, it's so many minutes in hospital. Those kind of things. You also have somebody who's a life controller. And that obviously has to be a staff member. And that person will wander around and at any moment can interrupt somebody's life and let something happen to them. So you might have somebody who's done all their NCA, onto their master's degree, and then you tell them, oh, very sorry, but you're having a baby. And so they have to go to hospital. And there'll be that look of shock on their face and say, but I'm doing my degree. Well, I'm sorry, but that's it. And so they go away. I see you have a PhD. It's a real shame that you've used that PhD to defraud people out of their money. <laughs> I'm going to have to send you to prison for five years. So that's five minutes in prison. Off you go. I'm sorry, I should just write on your face. I know. Put prison. And then they can come back to things, but, you know, it just stops at that moment. And so it goes for anything in the game. The person who is running the casino, I said, needs to be able to cheat at cards, let them win a couple of times, and then they don't win at all. But how much time will they waste in the casino? If they get sent to prison, why have they been sent to prison? And you need to choose very carefully that one person at least needs to die. So you know your group. So choose your person that you know can cope with this. Explain as you're, as you're asking them to die that it's something which is not happening in real life and it won't happen in real life, but this is what could happen. So their friend and them could be driving in a car, there could be a car crash, they have died, their friend goes to prison, they go to the cemetery. Because you've had a car crash. And things haven't gone well. I'm afraid you've died. So you need to go to the cemetery. At the end of the game, after an hour of silence of going around collecting things, they then look at what they have. They discuss in small groups what they have. Some of them then, we come back to the big group, they might explain and read out their lives to the big group. And then the leader has to be the person who says, well, what's this been about? 
it's been about learning about life isn't always fair. Sometimes things happen in life that we're not sure about, that are unexpected. What do we do about that? Well, we ask God for help. So you bring in that notion of prayer, resilience within church teaching, etc. And then sort of finish off by saying, you're no longer acting in life. Your life is starting. The game begins now. <laughs>